Hi, I'm James Schellinglaw, and I'm here with Costas Christ, who's the executive director of Beyond Green. Now, what's Beyond Green? Well, it's been around for a little while now. It's a collection of hotels that focus and really stress the importance of sustainability. And of course, Costas will have a lot better description than that. It's affiliated with preferred hotels and resorts. So it is something you can book as travel advisors and for your clients who really, really want to make sure they're staying green, they're staying sustainable. So we're going to talk to Costas about that and a whole lot more on Insider Travel Report. Now, first of all, Costas, how are you and where are you? Well, James, thank you for asking. I'm doing well, especially all things considered in these uh, rather precarious times. Uh, I just returned to my home base in New England after almost uh, a month on the road. You know, I was in uh, Columbia, where I've been working the last several years on a national level sustainable tourism uh, development plan. And then I was boom, boom, Miami, Boston, New York, and last week along the coast of Alabama, we're Beyond Green Travel, the consulting company that I founded that's now part of uh, Preferred Hotels and Resorts, uh, or Preferred Hotel Group, right. the parent company, uh, is working on a regional ecotourism plan. So uh, what I will say, since we hear a lot about it, is, uh, you know, frankly, I follow all the COVID protocols. Uh, it's kept me safe so far, and I'm, I'm really grateful for those guidelines uh, that can keep us all safe when we travel. Well, uh, and, we, and I do too, and I've had the similar travel schedule recently. That's why we've had a little challenge make, making our schedules work to do this, uh, although at times we've been in the same place in the same, uh, in the same conference, but not this time. Let's, let's talk a little bit about Beyond Green. Uh, talk about uh, what, is, what it is and when you started it. Well, uh, really, in a nutshell, Beyond Green's a global portfolio of hotels, resorts, and lodges, you know, that exemplify sustainability leadership. Mm -hmm. And when we say sustainability leadership, we mean in action and impact. We walk our talk right. based on our core values in nature, culture, community, and of course, all of that wrapped together with truly inspiring and meaning, I would add, meaningful guest experiences. You know, for a long time, I, I wanted to create a portfolio of, a hospitality portfolio of, of lodges and hotels that would really represent what's truly possible in the sustainability space. So right. what do I mean by that? Uh, you know, well, first of all, the three key pillars, uh, environmentally friendly practices, support for the protection of nature, celebrating cultural diversity, those are interconnected and then importantly, contributing to the social and economic well-being of local people. That's what guides us in the Beyond Green brand. And when I met Lindsay Ubroth, as you mentioned a moment ago when we were talking, who is the CEO of Preferred Hotel Group, she embraced this idea of creating a leadership portfolio that would demonstrate the true potential of travel and hospitality to be a force for good. Mm -hmm. We launched in uh, just April this year, April 2021, we had 24 founding members uh, really uh, representing what we believe are planet Earth's most sustainable places to stay. And that right. includes, I'm sure many of you and many of your uh, uh, listeners right now will know some of these iconic properties, the Brando in Tahiti, Francis Ford Coppola's Turtle Inn and Blanquino Lodge in Belize, Ted Turner Reserves in the United States, Ashford Castle, Ireland, Wilderness Safaris, Mambo Camp in Africa. These are all founding members of Beyond Green. And although we share the same parent company at Beyond Green, meaning preferred hotel group, Beyond Green is its own brand. So you had asked me at one point, uh, you know, what is the relationship with preferred hotels and resorts? We are owned by the same parent company, but Beyond Green is its own separate independent hospitality brand. I see, I see. And then you've mentioned a bunch of, so fortunately, there are about two or three uh, hotels you mentioned that I have been to, like, like the Brando, which is wonderful, like Ashford Castle. 
and and I I wasn't surprised about the Brando being on this. I was a little surprised about Ashford, and I'm very pleased to see that it is now. And and that, well, that well, one second there, because when you say I want to mention that, because again, uh, you know, a lot of our work we we do our de our details. So take Ashford Castle. You mentioned you might be surprised, and I think probably some of your others, uh, you know, readers and listeners would be surprised. But for example, Ashford Castle. All electricity powered 100% on renewable energy. Right. Ashford Castle, one of only a handful of golf courses in the world that have met the highest standard of the Golf Environmental Organization. I could go on and right. on about how even a property like Ashford Castle fully embraces uh, sustainable best practices. Now, and that's exactly, now, uh, are these hotels that you select or that hotels that come to you uh, and then you say, okay, uh, what you, you determine whether they qualify? Well, uh, it's a good question. And so uh, having been in this space for a pretty long time over the last three decades, you know, I've gotten to know who's really doing what and who's really taking it to the next level. So initially I went out uh, and connected with what are now our 24 founding members, okay. hotels that truly are leading in this transformation of the travel industry based on sustainable best practices. In addition to that, we now have 30 hotels across five continents uh, and more than 50 others that are actively interested in joining. Okay. And we have a pretty rigorous uh, membership process. So it is something where they have to pass muster uh, to be deemed uh, sustainable in your view and uh, be a member of part of Beyond Green. So that's great. Now, now you, you mentioned your, your long career, and I, I know, of course, your career. I've, I've, I've seen you at lots of different conferences, a lot of different sustainable things. Uh, uh, tell us, remind our, our travel advisors out there, our, our viewers, what is your background in sustainable travel? Really, it's, it's an area that you've really focused on, right? Well, you know, um, yes. Uh, what I will tell you is I never set out uh, originally to be a person leading in the sustainable travel space. Actually, I was a kid who fell in love with, you know, the Smokey, the, Smokey the Bear. I wanted to be a ranger. You know, I <laughs> wanted to wear one of those big brown hats. Uh, but when I was in my 20s, uh, through uh, good luck, you know, and, and some hard initial work, I got accepted on a Harvard University field project in Kenya, okay. uh, studying wildlife. And that really changed a lot of things for me. This was long before the concept of sustainable travel was established. And during the time I was there, I was struck by the inequality that I witnessed between a booming tourism industry, underfunded national parks, protecting some of the rarest species on earth and local communities living in poverty. And that led me to think about a different model of tourism, right. one in which the travel industry could play an active role in saving endangered species, protecting cultural heritage and supporting community development. So in short, that was the grassroots of it. Okay. In 1991, myself and less than a dozen, a dozen others gathered in a farmhouse outside of Washington, D.C. We were representing the Americas, Africa, Europe, uh, and Asia. And for the first time, we officially defined the concept of ecotourism. This was May 1991. Right. As responsible travel to natural areas that protects nature and sustains the well-being of local people. And then with time, this morphed into the ideas of sustainable travel. In right. other words, it shouldn't just be a Costa Rican jungle lodge or an African safari camp that's committed to travel as a force for good. What about the rest of the industry? Cruise ships, airlines, city hotels. And that gave birth to the idea of what we call sustainable tourism. Mm -hmm. In the early 2000s, I was asked by the United Nations, to help establish global criteria of sustainable best practices so that a hotel in say Australia, one in Sweden or the United States, when they said sustainable tourism leadership, we're speaking the same language. Right. Much like we hear today, a five-star hotel, whether it's in Japan or New York, 
we have a sense of what to expect. We know what that should mean. So by creating global criteria in the early 2000s, and that criteria is now internationally recognized, we were able to codify sustainability leadership, and that is the foundation of what Beyond Green is today. Yeah, I know. And well, you have absolutely have been a pioneer and early adopter of the sustainable concept, and it has evolved over time. I remember, you know, uh, trying to do uh, ecotourism sections in one of my magazines in the past, and Sometimes it was a little challenging to get the ad support to do those, but I think, you know, the industry seems to have come around with some fairly major players, including your, your affiliate, your, your sister, your organization preferred that clearly, and I know some of the owners of some of the hotels that you have, and I know that they're very committed to this. Now let's talk a little bit about, uh, you know, we have to go out to about 95,000 travel advisors and I understand you've launched sort of a beyond green sustainability update for them to sort of educate them about the brand, provide them more, with more information about sustainable travel. Uh, talk, can you talk a little bit about this initiative and, and how travel advisors can benefit from it? Well, uh, I believe that travel advisors are key to the future of the travel industry. We are going to turn increasingly to travel advisors to help us navigate the jungle of travel, ensuring that we get to our destination. In that sense, metaphorically speaking, travel advisors are our ace guides. They will lead us to that better place and let us know and find the kind of things that we're looking for. So in that sense, uh, we believe that travel advisors who understand the sustainable transformation of our industry today, and I really want to emphasize this, James, because I think everybody has seen, you know, for many years, yes, I've been working in the field of sustainability, but the ideas that sustainability is moving forward and transforming our industry are no longer in doubt. Mm -hmm. Almost everybody in this industry is hearing about it all the time. And that's a good thing. Right. So one of the services that we want to provide for travel advisors is a cutting edge sustainability update on the latest happenings that we believe travel advisors should be aware of from my desk right to their desk. Right. And that sustainability update will help travel advisors to know what's happening, what they should be thinking about, and what's new. Because I, at least in my case, I firmly believe that those businesses, including travel advisors, that understand the sustainable transformation that's happening across the world of travel and tourism today will become the new business leaders of tomorrow. Right. And we want to help them achieve that. Well, now, and where, where can uh, travel advisors kind of find this sort of sustainability update and what's involved in the, in, and, and understand better the program? Well, uh, we have a number of programs that we're very excited about. We're also about to launch uh, in uh, January, early in the new year of 2022, our Green to Gold Travel Advisor Partnership, oh, which is okay. another initiative. So we have several things going on with travel advisors, and you can find out about those and get more information by visiting the Beyond Green website, which is staybeyondgreen.com. Okay. And if you look there, you'll see links for our travel advisors. And we're putting more up all the time. So you have your existing programs and more to come. And so they can really get involved because I do know a lot of uh, travel advisors out there are very, uh, th th they really are start trying to understand and trying to book their clients in places uh, that are, are sustainable and have been sort of vetted and people know they are sustainable. Now, well, that, that on, on that, James, what I will say, and this is really important, you know, I've been in this space, as you said, for a long time. So uh, it's incredibly important to me that Beyond Green represent the truest of the true, walk its talk and demonstrate sustainable best practices, nature, culture, community. What does that mean? That means that a travel advisor, we want to make this easy. And when a travel advisor books with Beyond Green, they can be absolutely assured of sustainability in its truest form. And they can also go on the website and see our sustainability in action stories, meaning this is what each of these properties are doing that are part of Beyond Green. We put it right there and we inspect every single one every 24 months. 
that's great. And uh, I know a lot of advisors are going to be looking at this and saying, yeah, well, I'm going to sign up and start looking at the programs, understanding these properties. Now, I guess that goes to the question. I mean, how, how can travel advisors work more effectively with Beyond Green and actually profit from it? Because obviously you're selling great hotels. A lot of your hotels, if not all your hotels, are considered what we would consider luxury. Uh, they're up, up there in the, in, 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 you know, and they really are incredible properties. So uh, what's, what, what can they do to really work with you and sell sustainable travel more effectively? Well, first of all, we have uh, our sales team and also our sustainability team are happy to answer questions they may have. In addition to that, we do webinars and trainings. Mm -hmm. uh, we have special events for travel advisors. Uh, and most importantly, you know, we have, of course, several ways that travel advisors can book. They can use our GDS chain code, which is LE, which stands for Loving Earth. No okay. surprise there. But also, um, they can email us at ask at staybeyondgreen.com. And another way to book is the Beyond Green VIP concierge desk. You know, I hear increasingly from travel advisors who book the high-end luxury properties that more and more they are going to that level of VIP concierge. So all three ways, through the website, through GDS, and through our VIP concierge desk, these are all ways that uh, travel advisors can book their stays and also get answers to their questions. And we'd be happy to also do a presentation for their teams to understand more about sustainability. We see this as a real true partnership with travel advisors. No, that's great. And I'm, I'm so glad you are including them fully in this effort. Uh, now, uh, one question. I know that uh, Preferred Hotels, Preferred Hotel Group has a I Prefer Loyalty program. Are you, are you, how do you fit into that? Are you part of that? Yes. Well, you know, the loyalty program, just as you said, is part of Preferred Hotel Group. There are over 3.5 million loyalty travelers there, over 70% of them based in the United States, roughly 20% Europe, 10% Asia. So travelers who book with Beyond Green have the opportunity to also participate in the I Prefer program, uh, which means that they can sign up on our website and advisors can take advantage of existing I Prefer offers and special benefits that they can also uh, get for their clients. And again, that information is found on our website. No, that's great. Now, looking to the future, you have, I think you said 24, and I think more in the pipeline uh, uh, that are members of Beyond Green. What, what do you hope to achieve with Beyond Green? What's your, what's your goal for the whole program? Well, we, uh, we launched with our 24 founding members. We are now up to 30 hotels. And yes, we have about 50 in the pipeline under active consideration. Uh, but, you know, to your question, uh, really, at the end of the day, from my, and you know, you mentioned, I've been in this for a long time, uh, and I care deeply about the idea of travel as a force for good. Beyond green, in my view, was created with a key purpose to demonstrate the power and promise of travel to make the world a better place. Mm -hmm. The issue isn't any longer, and the question is not any longer, can sustainable travel truly deliver on its promise to give back to the people and places we visit? The answer is yes. There are hundreds of case studies. Beyond Green members are illustrating this every single day. So the question is, how far will the industry go to embrace this? Right. We all remember 2019 and over tourism and Venice, Time Magazine's cover, you know, Europe fights back, tourism out of control. That's not the tourism we want. Right. When I visited Venice at the height of, you know, all the over tourism, there were protests in the street. I did not meet one resident who said they didn't want tourism. Right. Every single person said to me, we want tourism. We just don't want this kind of tourism. Right. Beyond Green is the antidote to that. Beyond Green represents what travel and tourism could be. And we are keenly focused on the importance. And for advisors to know that just by booking with us, 
They're supporting a global collective impact that is uplifting local livelihoods around the world, restoring ecosystems on land and sea, saving endangered species, and protecting cultural heritage. That's not hyperbole, that's real. And under every property on our website, you will see five examples of sustainability in action that our members are doing today, and it's dramatic. For example, collectively, we are protecting over 5 million acres and restoring habitat that's also sequestering carbon to fight climate change. This is the true potential of tourism. Right. You know, preferred slogan is we believe in travel. And we do believe in travel. It's just that we believe in travel as a force for good. And we know that together we can make that the norm and not the exception. Well, uh, I, I think it's a wonderful program. Uh, I know it's still, you've been doing it for a while and now it's coming out here and with the hotels. I uh, hope you add a lot more hotels uh, that, that are really going to recognize that. They're coming. And uh, I know travel advisors are eager to participate. And th these are wonderful properties that are on your website. These are, are things that, uh, you know, for, for those of you out there, your clients are really going to want to be staying at, uh, knowing, knowing the properties that Costas has described. Um, and let's just reiterate, where can travel advisors go again? Tell me the website again to find out about all of this. You know, uh, uh, James, uh, you mentioned properties. We have some hidden gems in there that I think travel advisors may or may not know of, like Isla Secas in Panama, off the charts, truly spectacular, amazing, and others like you said. So where can you find that information again? Just go right to the website, staybeyondgreen.com, and together, let's make travel a true force for good in the world now more important than ever. Absolutely. Well, Costas, again, thank you for your time. It's great to see you. And I know we'll catch up at uh, uh, some, some conference next year somewhere live. And we're all eager. We're back to doing some Zoom here, but uh, in, in, in we're, we're out there and we're all, you're traveling, I'm traveling. And uh, let's, let's hope we can you know, make this, move, this a movement beyond green uh, for accommodations throughout the world. Again, thank you so much. Thank you, James, and thank you to all of your uh, listeners and watchers. I'm James Schillinglaw, and this is Insider Travel Report.